You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, Adobe just released three new iPad apps that really have the photography community talking because they interface your iPad with Adobe's Photoshop CS5 and above. And so over the next three episodes, we're going to take a, t a closer look at these apps. We're going to start with one that's called Adobe Nav, and it will really help you navigate your uh, Photoshop application and do some things that are really spectacular. So let's take a closer look at Adobe Nav. Adobe Nav is an application for the iPad that isn't really a standalone application. It's made to interface with Adobe Photoshop CS5 and above. And it allows you to do a couple things. The first is to select different tools, to set the, uh, the colors that you're using, to swap those out, change the screen mode, and something else that I'll show you that's really impressive. But before we do that, let me show you how to set everything up. The first thing you have to do when you're in Adobe Nav is connect it to Photoshop. And you do that right down here with this little blue Photoshop icon, and it has these connections uh, that you can set up. And so we're gonna go over here to Photoshop, and I wanna show you how I've set that up first. So in Photoshop, what you'll need to do is go to the edit menu and then go down to remote connections. And then you'll put in the service name, which is the name of your laptop or desktop or whatever, and then a password. And that password will be used by your iPad to connect Photoshop with Adobe Nav. Now I've already set this up, so I'm gonna hit cancel here. Now once I've done that on the iPad, when you click this little blue icon, you'll see that Mark's uh, laptop shows up there. I can con connect to my Adobe CS5, my Photoshop CS5 app. And if I had multiple computers, I could set up multiple connections. Now let's go in and see exactly how this works once we have it all set up. The thing that's nice is this allows me to select different tools in Photoshop. So for example, if I wanted to just move things around, I could select that. And you can see over here in Photoshop that yes, that has been selected. If I wanted to select maybe the lasso tool over here on the iPad, again, I could just hit the lasso tool and you can see on Photoshop that that changes the selection. So any tool that you wanna add here, the eyedropper, the burn and dodge tool, whatever it is, uh, you can just select that on the iPad and it selects that right in Photoshop. And you can go in here and you can edit this and see it's totally customizable. So maybe I don't want the text tool, let's say I can uh, uh, delete that and I can go here and look at all these different menu items here and say, you know what, I wanna add the, um, the patch tool. So I just drag that over here and now the patch tool is ready for me. I can hit done. Now, anytime I wanna select the patch tool, I just push that and in Photoshop, you can see that now the patch tool is selected. So that's a really great shortcut key. Now, one of the things in Photoshop that I like to do is change the screen mode and I, I like to get rid of all the clutter. So if I push this on the iPad, you can see that that uh, changes the screen mode. And now I'm only seeing one photo instead of all those tabs. Now, one of the problems with that is when you're working in Photoshop, if you want to go to a different photo, you have to go up here to this window icon and then sort of choose the, the next photo. And if you don't remember what bowling nine out of 12 is, you sort of have to just zip through here and it gets to be a pain to really quickly go through all of these. The other thing is maybe you're uh, editing something and you want to show it to somebody else, but you don't want to have to output that to a JPEG file. Well, that's where Adobe Nav really has some amazing things. So what we can do here is we can push this little grid right here and you can see that right now, the three photos that I'm editing show up in Adobe Nav. Now let's say that I want to go from the current photo to maybe J uh, bowl and a strike here. So as soon as I click that, on my Photoshop application, you can see that that instantly uh, goes over. In fact, it's a little bit of a lag, but um, it's, it's pretty darn quick. So if I wanna go over here to Diane shooting some video, you can see that there it is. Now, the other thing with this is if you wanna show this, maybe uh, you're downstairs working uh, as a creative and maybe the client is upstairs waiting for a comp and you don't wanna, again, output all that stuff. Well, let's say I wanna uh, see Jay at full resolution. Well, I can, I can just go in here and stretch that out stretch that out again, and you can see that as I'm working on my photo, whatever I'm doing instantly shows up on my iPad, and so that you can quickly run that back and forth and uh, change between things. So just to demonstrate this, what I'll do here is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab the brush tool, and uh, I'll zoom in here, I'm gonna make this, and I'm just gonna draw a little mustache on Jay here and give him some little, uh, you know, uh, nice look there. Well now you can see, then when I zoom in here, sure enough, the edits that I've made show up on my iPad, which is really spectacular. Now, if I wanna to go to a different photo, I can shrink that down. 
I can just swipe this and on my laptop, you can see that when I do that and push this, bam, I'm back over here to the next thing. So this navigational feature is really nice because you can navigate and you can see what you're editing and you can show that to other people, which is really nice. Then I can go back here and again, I can go through my different selection tools. I can even select actual pixels. So what I'll do here is I'll go into the magnification glass and I'll just zoom this out because this is a pretty small JPEG image. So if I say actual pixels, bam, you can see it goes right to the actual size. Now the other thing I have is this area up here, and that is for changing the foreground and background color. So I can swap those just by hitting this little arrow. If I go into my Photoshop application, let's say I change the foreground color to a bright red, and you can see that on the iPad that also changes to bright red. And if I want to reset that to the default colors, I can just hit this little black and white icon and it goes right back to default. So it's just a really shortcut uh, key um, that allows you to really quickly reset your foreground and background colors. Well, that's Adobe Nav, and I really love the ability to quickly uh, change between the, uh, the tools and the photos that I'm editing in Photoshop. And I've actually found that I can just put a, a photo in full screen mode and then use my iPad as a remote control. So as a teaching device, it's something that I really have come to enjoy as well. Well, next week, uh, we're going to take a look at Adobe's Easel application, and so we can look at how you can create drawings and import those into Photoshop. So make sure you keep watching. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you'd like to see, you can always send your suggestions to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.